Hi, welcome to Judo's Bar. Today we're gonna mix a Oaxaca Old Fashion. <music> So a Oaxaca Old Fashion, it's a really simple cocktail. It takes an Old Fashion and makes it Mexican by switching the bourbon for uh, tequila mezcal, the angostura bitter for this chocolate bitters and the sugar part for agave syrup. And that's about it, let's make it. So we're gonna start with the chocolate bitters, by the way, the original version of this Oaxaca Old Fashion, it's by Philip Ward of Def Co, 2007, and the original version is Angostura bitters. But apparently now it's common to use chocolate bitters, and uh, I think I like that. So four dishes of chocolate bitter from Scrappy, 47% alcohol, I think, yes. Pretty strong, intense flavor, and I really love that. And we're going with a dash of agave syrup, 7.5 milliliters, one spoon, 10 milliliters. I'm just gonna go with a dash, like that. And then we're going with our main alcohol ingredients. First of all, this uh, Metzcar, 15 milliliters. Ha ha ha, I don't know, ha ha, probably. It's... Uh, my first mezcal that tastes smoky and decent. It's still a bit vinegarish on the smell to me, but in the cocktail it works out pretty well and the price was reasonable. And as a tequila I'm gonna use this Campo Azul Anejo Selecto. I bet this is super cheap in uh, Mexico. It's pretty cheap in here too, and if you can find it, it tastes amazing for the price, and uh, it's earthy, and uh, I found it out in this uh, whiskey tasting place, I don't know how we call it in uh, Italian, we will call it a whiskey taker, but... Um, so they have a lot of a single malt uh, and bottles whiskey. And they added just a few of the other spirits. And basically I bought all the tequila they had. I think they even forgot they had any tequila at all. It was in a corner up on a shelf. And uh, I ended up buying the one bottle of their uh, Campo Azul Plata. Then I bought the other plata they had, because it went on sale, it was the last one they had. Then I bought the Anejo, and then I bought another Anejo last time I went there. So in four times I went, I bought four bottles of tequila. But it's just a really good deal, and it's really good. And then what we do here, we just add a big rock of ice. And then we stir a bit to chill everything down and to also dilute a bit. You could build this cocktail in a different container, mix it with more ice, then pour it on one big ice here. Today I decided to do like this, it's easy. It's how I usually do my old fashion, really. Just build it in the glass, stir it with one nice big rock of ice, and when it's nice and chill and just a bit diluted, you're gonna be fine. By the way, these two uh, alcohols, the mezcal and the tequila, I think they're both 40%. Yeah, they're both 40%, so we don't need extra dilution, really. The dilution we're gonna get like this is gonna be just fine. Just one more second. And I think we are done. Let's just express some orange peel.
which I'm just gonna discard because I don't want it to disturb the movement of this really nice rock of ice and we are done in Oaxaca all fashion cheers it's really good it's really tasty the Aneo tequila it's smoother than a blanco or is it plata or blanco I forgot the mezcal just give the hint of smoke and as I said mix with the tequila you don't get the vinaigrish smell that I sometimes get if I just pour it in it. Chocolate bitter, these chocolate bitter are amazing and they mix really well. They give at the same time a bitterness which you want bitter to do and also a bit of the sordidiness because they are a bit chocolate but it's really done in the background. We just help jump out with the agave syrup and uh, make it not completely dry. It's an uh, extremely nice drink. The orange expression of oils on top, just uh, finishing it quite well. And uh, there is nothing else to say except that it's a really good uh, modern classic. It's, it's really popular. You will find this in many many bars and as i said defenco is treated as a religion by some people so anything that defenco do gets a lot of attention in this case deserved attention this is really good that was quick and easy i hope you enjoyed the video please like subscribe comment down below share with your friends loved ones enemies people you met once at a party and then you didn't care for for the rest of your life but share anyway uh, by email do whatever you want uh, steal yourself a drink and I will see you next time cheers by the way I search how to pronounce Oaxaca and I found out uh, that, yeah, in uh, Mexican or Spanish, that's how you're supposed to pronounce it, Oaxaca. I hope I'm doing a decent job. I'm not sure. Because in Italian, we actually don't have the H sound. But I'm trying here, okay? But then I found out that the English American pronunciation just sounds like a middle-aged man that just came out from a disturbed concert and is going like something like that disturbed a band with maybe two decent songs <laughs>